Welcome Pisces Aries to your mid-month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in the mid-month. Best message, please, for Pisces Aries. Best message, please, for Pisces Aries. And I'm looking for that energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And remember, friends, if you like this, please like and subscribe. have the King of Cups coming up, which is telling me that you're very, very self-assured right now in the mid-month. Feeling like everything is on top of water. You're feeling very good about the situation, whatever your situation is. Feeling like you're in authority where you're supposed to be. Um, having the great responsibilities. There could be other responsibilities that are going on around you that you're really shouldering with ease at this time. Um, really feeling like a high roller as well. Um, and that's really that water sign. And also having this full moon in Pisces. Um, tonight on the 20th um, could also be really bringing in that extra strength and that extra um, authority for you feeling of that self-assuredness from that moon really giving you some beautiful moon energy right putting that water right where it needs to be so very beautiful guys and clarifying on the king of cups Increase. Look at that. Yeah, increase in authority, responsibility, and all the things we just talked about. And there definitely is. Um, and it even feels like there's this increase of how you're feeling within power. I just keep feeling power. This is very motivational over here. Um, really getting motivated. Like you can do anything. You got that cup over there that is just filled to the top right now in the mid month. So let's see what's going on. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. I did Pisces Aries get this way? Hidden motivations. Wow. The discovery in the recent past could have been a week ago, a couple of days ago. I got the milestone coming out. Feeling like you're reaching the milestone that you need to be at, you know? So it's like, hmm, if it could have felt like you were kind of stuck in a, I don't know, it kind of feels like in a cola sack. <laughs> I see a cola sack. It's kind of like I'm going down the road in this neighborhood, right? And I'm almost to the end and then there's a cola sack. So I have to turn and then come back around. But it feels like the milestone is no more cola sack. I can actually, like there's the cola sack's gone. I don't feel like I have to go round and round and round to get to where I need to get to that milestone. And that's a weird way of seeing something, but it, that's definitely what it feels like. It felt like there was a roundy round. But I feel like because you are in now in this authoritative mode over here, you definitely have, because of the hidden motivations, you found the way out of the, you know, maybe there was a, a little trail or something at the end of the cola sack and you're walking it you're like oh look this trail opened up i can go that way and um, now i don't feel like i'm in a roundy round anymore <clears throat> so with the discovery over here it feels like you kind of discovered a little bit of a gold mine over here something that felt like it was hidden has now come to truth and it could just be um just finding that courage and that self authority within yourself um, take it how it resonates. It could be something literal, like I found the greatest job, I found the greatest person. However it is, you have your shiny diamond and you do have this great discovery that you have discovered. Wow. And it could definitely be a Capricorn Virgo, maybe even a Taurus. Um, but you do feel like you have the support around you and the service. So discovering this has also just been at service to you. Wow. Could even be a great message that came in that kind of opened your eyes to something shiny glimmering and hopeful that really brought you over here to the king of cups mm -hmm. you know whatever it felt like you were in dismay about it's really turned things around 
and looking more hopeful for you. And now it feels like you are on the right path. You have this new thing that's coming towards you, um, whatever it is. Wow. I feel, uh, like I said, it doesn't feel like it's very long ago, guys. It feels like it's only like maybe the beginning of the month. Um, with the hidden motivations over here, it feels like there's, you need to pull back the curtains to see the hidden motivations, but it's not a, it's not a, a negative hidden type of, that would be upside down, right? There's more to this shiny diamond than what's really revealed. Meaning the more that you keep self-assured, the more you keep on task and the more responsibilities you're going at, the more things that were hidden are coming to light. That's you just have to pull back the curtain to see and really see moving in the direction towards this um, situation. I'm leaving it as a, just the situation at this time because it definitely could be a person, it could be a career, it could be anything at this moment. So you guys are just going to take it how it resonates, okay? Because really, this it, it could just be as small as finding the broken piece in your car. I mean, literally, that's like spirit is like, it could just be my car was thumping around and I realized why it's sputtering and it's the, you see what I'm saying? It's the water, right? Or it's the radiator or it's the, the fuel pump or, you know what I'm saying? It could be just anything that simple. <clears throat> Something major to something simple. The shiny diamond be like, well, you know, hey, did you check your fuel pump? Oh, crap. <sighs> yeah. And you thought it was something huge, then you find out it was just something little, right? <clears throat> That's why we're leaving it as the situation. Yeah, there's no more conflict because now that you figured out what the hidden motivation was, whatever the situation was and moving in the right direction, it's just going to keep increasing your responsibilities and your, your power over here without having any more having to stand your ground or looking for anything. It just feels like I've found it. I know where I'm going and I know exactly what's going on. I do still love the hidden motivation because there is still something there that is very positive in the thing. And maybe the positivity, if it was just something as small as the fuel pump um, or the alternator, um, you're going to say, oh my God, thank God it was so something so little that I can take care of, right? Because I thought it was going to be something, you know, huge. It's going to cost me a lot of money, right? And it's not, right? It wasn't the radiator. It's just the fuel pump. And we're talking about, you know, and you're just like, woo, thank God. Right? <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Not having to worry about that anymore. So all those worries are pretty much going away. You don't have to feel the overwhelmingness anymore. And you're really moving away from all the overwhelmingness ever since this person kind of brought it to light. Um, about what the situation is now you can feel over here like you have a blessing coming in with the increase and now you're also bringing in some fire um, which I love um, because now you have the water and the fire so you're definitely in your own energy and you're saying good now that I know that the nine of cups is here I have this increase of what is satisfactory to me because it's not as bad as I thought it was because I found this shiny diamond um, and I just feel like everything is super self-assured with the King of Wands. You're like, the ball is back in my court now. I don't have to feel any, you know, any overwhelming things. Wow. Yeah. And it's just moving on. And there could be other people's opinions and looking for the doors to open to get to whatever the situation is. But at least it feels like you are back on the track that you need to be on without having anything holding you back. Wow. Yeah. And you might even get opinions from a different person as well on how to fix the situation or what the situation is. Um, if it is love, you don't have to worry about this person overwhelming you. It feels like you guys have come back together. It's a connection. All the hidden motivations that were over was like there could have been apologies, reconciliations going on, things of this nature. Um, in the past, they could have been, you know, doing things like that. And you feel like you're now where you're supposed to be within your relationship and it's back on target um, and you see more doors opening to that and could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well or a Capricorn 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 was overwhelming you but you feel like you guys are connected again so you don't feel like you're so far away from each other so it could be as that as well 
Um, also with the Page of Swords upside down, um, with the, the Capricorn card again coming up, it could have been something that was going on, but it feels like the Capricorn has been at service for you for the majority of you, and it feels like you're getting back to where you're supposed to be traveling in the right direction. It could have been, like I said, unseen motivations, um, and it feels like, well, something that I didn't know has now come to light, and I know this um, even more so than before because nothing's really hidden, so I don't have to worry about that. And you're really looking out for the situation and looking at everything very deep, um, right? And not really having the, this is an unknown, right? Not knowing the unknown, but now you feel like whether it was unwanted, you know they want you back, um, however it is, or if whatever was irritating you, it just feels like you're traveling away from that, trying to get back to where you want to be, or denial, or the unknown, not knowing what was wrong with my car, things of this nature, right? Because now you're self-assured and you know exactly everything that's going on in the mid-month about what the situation was. So you don't have any of those things anymore. You're saying, well, whatever I didn't know, I can now travel saying I know now, right? I feel more self-assured again with the nine of coins. Oh, you're telling me it was this and that. Oh, you want to come back and be friends with me. But it feels like all the negative that was there has now increased to the knowing and positive. And you, that's why you hit that milestone. <laughs> there it is. No, lo no longer going round and round and round and round. And for some of you, you might even have an event to go to. Um, maybe they said that they weren't going to go to and celebrate with you because they weren't sure about the situation. That's for somebody. Um, and now you're having the realization that they said, okay, well, what I thought I wasn't going to do, I'm going to go do now. They may have told you they weren't going to go, and now they've decided to change their mind. And now they're going to go to this party. God, this could be a situation of all three. For some of you, you're going to say, well, I, that happened to me, that happened to me, and that is going to happen to me. They're feeling more self-assured with the Queen of Coins. Somebody is definitely dealing with Capricorn. Where they thought they weren't going to be in love with the idea, they weren't really um, in love with anything that was going on. Um, they now want to go to this party. They may have told you they weren't going to, or maybe they missed one before and now they want to join. Things of this nature. Um, if it's not a party, the milestone itself is just saying, I'm nurturing this. They could be nurturing this. But no matter what, there's a simplistic a uh, piece going on over here with the Queen of Cups upside down because it was something that you felt that there was no milestone that was going to be made is now finally surfacing. So it's almost like, you know, this kind of brought up a different kind of way of looking at things. And, um, right, could have been grudges against the, the, um, the Capricorn no longer having the grudges anymore, um, the unhappiness, there could have been dishonesty and now it's come through and you see it for what it is. Uh, but there's really some kind of um, promises that really weren't kept is really what it feels like that feels more promising, right? And really, you know, following through with the intuition over here and really handling things that you couldn't handle before is really coming through. That's why it feels like that roundy round. You know, the two of coins. Yeah, giving more options to the situation and feeling like you have more, more trust. And there's more trust going on over here and a little more fairness as well. And it does feel a little more fair. Um, and you could feel that Everything is just really on target. Everything is justified. The truth is this has reached the milestone that you wanted it to reach. Um, no, you know, no more fighting, no more this, that. You just have the increase. Um, and it feels very, uh, like a lot, of more, a lot more vitality is actually coming through as well. And we see that too with the, uh, look at that strength at the bottom, bringing in that inner strength to keep continuing to move towards, wow, the 10 of coins. So it does, it feels peaceful. And we then we have the peace, <laughs> perfect timing. Look at guys, no, perfect timing for no more fighting. Like we don't wanna get no more fighting. So we pray to God that that is there for that reason, right? No more fighting, no more fighting it. Now we can see it for what it is instead of always having to have inner battles about the situation or actually battling with the person. 
So the positivity coming through here is very beautiful and it feels like you finally got to where you want to be um, within a situation by hitting that milestone. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.